George Berkeley, 1685-1753, an Anglo-Irish philosopher whose primary achievement was the advancement of a theory he called immaterialism, later referred to as subjective idealism by others. This theory denies the existence of material substance and instead contends that familiar objects like tables and chairs are ideas perceived by minds and as a result cannot exist without being perceived. Berkeley is also known for his critique of abstraction an important premise in his argument for immaterialism. Berkeley argued against Isaac Newton's doctrine of absolute space, time, and motion in De Matu on Motion, published in 1721. His arguments were a precursor to the views of Mach and Einstein. Subjective idealism. According to Berkeley, there are only two kinds of things, spirits and ideas. Spirits are simple, active beings which produce and perceive ideas. Ideas are passive beings which are produced and perceived. Thus, Berkeley denied the existence of matter as a metaphysical substance, but did not deny the existence of physical objects such as apples or mountains. I do not argue against the existence of any one thing that we can apprehend, either by sense or reflection, that to the things I see with my eyes and touch with my hands do exist, really exist. I make not to the least question. The only thing whose existence we deny is that which philosophers call matter or corporeal substance, and in doing this, there is no damage done to the rest of mankind, I dare say, will never miss it. A convinced adherent of Christianity, Berkeley believed God to be present as an immediate cause of all of our experiences. Whatever power I may have over my own thoughts, I find the ideas actually perceived by sense have not a like dependence on my will. When in broad daylight I open my eyes, it is not in my power to choose whether I shall see or know, or to determine what particular objects shall present themselves to my view. And so likewise as to the hearing and other senses, the ideas imprinted on them are not my creatures of my will. There is therefore some of the other will or spirit that produces them. What inclines men to this mistake, besides the humor of making one see by geometry, is that the same perceptions or ideas which suggest distance do also suggest magnitude. I say they do not first suggest distance, and then leave it to the judgment to use that as a medium, whereby to collect the magnitude, they have as close and immediate a connection with the magnitude as with the distance, and suggest a magnitude as independently of distance as they do distance independently of magnitude.